The movie revolves around a shy, 38-year-old bodybuilder named Dennis Peterson. Despite his great physique, Dennis has never had a girlfriend, and he lives with his elderly mother, Ingrid, in a small town outside Copenhagen. One day, Dennis goes on a date with a woman from his gym. As they get to know each other, he reveals that, apart from professional bodybuilding, he also works as a gatekeeper. Meanwhile, the woman mentions that she's a co-owner of a tanning salon near the beach. She then tries to flirt with him by drawing attention towards her chest, but he does not seem one bit interested. When the woman continues to try, he ends up getting awkward and starts talking about her necklace. This annoys the woman, and so the date ends. After Dennis returns home, he tries to quietly sneak into his room, but his possessive mother, Ingrid, confronts him. She interrogates him about his whereabouts and chastises him for not telling her about his late-night plans. Surprisingly, instead of telling her the truth, Dennis fabricates a story and mentions that he went to the movies with his gym buddies. It is clear that Ingrid is very possessive about her son. This explains why Dennis finds it very difficult to form relationships with other women. The next day, the mother and son get ready to go to a relative's home. The extent of Ingrid and Dennis's codependence is further revealed when they use the same bathroom at the same time. Later, when they reach the destination, it's revealed that Dennis's uncle, Bent, has recently gotten married to a young woman named Aoi from Thailand. Dennis is happy for Uncle Bent, but deep inside, he feels more hopeless about his own situation. The next day, Dennis runs into his date from earlier in the movie and tries to speak with her. However, she gives him the cold shoulder and simply walks past him. Later that day, Dennis again visits his uncle Bent and helps him clear his garden. Afterwards, the two sit down for drinks. Bent is aware of Dennis's unsuccessful romantic life, so he advises him to go on a trip to Thailand. Bent gives him travel books and explains that Thailand is a beautiful country with beautiful and approachable women. Dennis really likes the idea, so at night he researches about Thailand online. Once he has gathered enough information, he decides to go on a week-long vacation. The following day, Dennis walks up to his former date in the gym and gets back at her by rudely telling her that she is not his type. Later during dinner, Dennis tells his mother about his plan to go on a trip. However, he lies to her that he's going to Germany to compete in a bodybuilding competition. Nevertheless, Ingrid is not pleased, and she walks out of the dinner in anger. The next couple of days, Ingrid continues to give him the cold shoulder and does not even get up to see Dennis off before his flight. In the next scene, Dennis boards the flight and lands in Pattaya, Thailand. When he checks into the hotel, he is caught off guard when the receptionist asks him to pay extra in advance for the female escorts that he will most likely bring back to his hotel room, just like most of the Western tourists. Dennis is embarrassed, and he tells her that he will not be bringing any girls to his hotel room. Later, he goes to meet Ben's friend, Scott. Scott is a middle-aged American man who runs a bar with his Thai wife. He reveals that he hooked Ben up with his wife, Nu. He then gets down to business and asks the kind of girl Dennis is looking for, going into specifics about his ideal breast and bottom sizes. Flustered, Dennis responds that he would just like someone age-appropriate. Scott promises to find him a great girl and asks him to come back later that night. On his way back to the hotel, Dennis stops by at a boutique to order a custom-made suit for himself. Afterwards, he calls his mother, but she does not answer. This leaves him very frustrated and sad. At night, Dennis's new suit is delivered to his hotel, and he goes to Scott's bar with high hopes. There, he meets other older men from Western countries with young Thai women by their side. Scott then introduces Dennis to his young date, Fat. She appears to be a talkative woman who immediately begins interacting with Dennis. She compliments his muscles and asks him to show her a glimpse. Although the request is very simple, Dennis, who has always lived as an introvert, becomes flustered and excuses himself to the washroom. Surprisingly, Fat follows him and makes sexual advances towards him. The latter finally gives in and brings her back to his hotel room. Unfortunately, there, Fat explicitly talks about her rate for the night, 
making Dennis realize that she is just an escort. So, in a fit of rage, he rejects her advances and sends her back. The next day, Dennis explores the city by himself and visits a neighborhood gym, which is owned by a woman named Toy. While working out, he befriends Prop, a trainer at the gym. The two get to talking when, suddenly, Prop recognizes Dennis from a magazine and compliments him on his back muscles. Dennis is flattered and he feels at ease for the first time since he landed in Thailand. Before parting ways, Prop invites him to dinner with his friends later that night. However, Dennis politely declines and goes back for a second round at Scott's bar. Later, Scott introduces Dennis to another girl, and she too heavily flirts with him. As expected, our macho protagonist again gets uncomfortable, so he leaves to join Prop and his friends for dinner. There, he again meets Toy, the gym owner. The two strike up a conversation, and while discussing his passion for bodybuilding, Dennis's shyness and social ineptitude vanish. Toy reveals that she took the gym over from her late husband who passed away five years ago. When Dennis tells her that he's never been married, she tells him that he's a nice man and he'll find someone. Over the course of the next few days, the two develop a friendship. Toy gives Dennis a tour of the city and also teaches him how to ride a bike. One day at a beach, Dennis tries to kiss her, but she pulls away. Embarrassed, he apologizes and excuses himself. However, he can't get his bike to start, so Toy offers him a ride back to his hotel. As Dennis proceeds to leave, Toy tells him she held back earlier because it's considered taboo to kiss in public. She then invites him over to her house for dinner. There, the two make out passionately. It is the first time Dennis has ever kissed a woman. Toy then changes into her lingerie and proceeds to make love with him, but Dennis's shyness resurfaces and he abruptly leaves. However, as he walks out of the building, it suddenly dawns on him that Toy is the only woman with whom he's ever felt a connection. Therefore, he returns back and confesses to her that he really likes her. Toy also admits her feelings for him and the two embrace. The two then fall asleep in each other's arms without having intimate relations. With plans for the future, Dennis returns to Denmark and Ingrid is happy to have him back. She notes his tan, but Dennis lies that he went to a tanning salon in Germany. After unpacking his suitcase, he goes apartment hunting. He selects a place and finally decides to come clean to his mother. In the next scene, Dennis sits down with his mother and reveals that he had actually gone to Thailand on Bent's advice. He also reveals about Toy and apologizes to her for lying. Unsurprisingly, this infuriates Ingrid and she kicks him out of the house. The next day, however, she calls him back and sits him down for a talk. Ingrid asks him if he has slept with Toy, but Dennis shuts her down, saying it's none of her business. Hearing this, Ingrid accuses him of engaging in sex tourism, calling it gross. She shouts that he has hurt her by lying and committing adultery. However, she agrees to forgive him on the condition that he breaks up with Toy. Dennis agrees, but he secretly arranges for Toy to come to Denmark permanently. He welcomes her at the airport with flowers and takes her to the rented apartment. Toy is surprised as he had told her that he lives in a suburban house with his mother. Dennis lies that it's a temporary arrangement and changes the topic. He then gives her a beautiful necklace as a welcome present. Afterwards, Dennis tells Toy that his mother had to be hospitalized because of a heart problem, so he'll be away at the hospital tonight. He also tells Toy that he can't introduce her to his mother at the moment because of the latter's weak physical and mental state. The following day, Dennis takes Toy to a shopping mall to buy her some new clothes. Lo and behold, he notices his mother in the distance. Dennis tries to get away from the place with his girlfriend, but Ingrid ends up seeing him. As he reluctantly greets her, Toy also joins them. Expectedly, Ingrid is surprised to see Dennis with a girl. Left with no choice, he introduces Toy to his mother, but lies that she's Bert's sister-in-law from Thailand. This calms the situation for a while, but just then, Toy asks Ingrid about her health. The latter appears very perplexed and inquires about what's going on. Dennis doesn't reply to her and tries leaving the mall. 
Ingrid follows him for a while and confronts him for lying to her again, but Dennis brushes her aside and walks away. At this point, Toy is shocked by his mother's rude behavior. She asks if he's hiding something from her, and Dennis finally explains everything to her in the car before dropping her at the apartment. When he returns home, he finds his mother sitting at the table with an injured hand. He then goes to his room to find it completely ransacked. Afterwards, Dennis is forced to talk with Ingrid, where she accuses him of being just like his father. It turns out Dennis's father left Ingrid for another woman before he was even born. She then inquires when he's sending Toy back to Thailand, but he resolutely tells her that she's here to stay, and he is moving in with her. When nothing works, Ingrid tries to emotionally blackmail him, but Dennis tells her to stop. He then makes his resolution to become independent and strong. Following this, he dresses her wounds and packs her belongings. Later, Dennis hugs and kisses his mother goodbye. She again pleads with him to stay, but he parts ways with her, saying they will meet again soon. The movie ends as Dennis gets in his car with Toy and drives to their new home.